very common question, an excellent question. Um, picture's worth a thousand words. It's very hard to describe this over the phone, and I've spent many, many evenings uh, listening to descriptions. Um, nowadays with technology, I've received iPhone pictures and other things, but it's still very difficult. And so obviously we recommend a visit to our office as soon as possible. Typically the ECM, the, the air human migraines rash will increase by one centimeter per day, and it will be there by the next day. So if you see it in the evening, I usually ask the parents to take a picture, and I have at times tried to diagnose by, by photograph, but I really don't feel comfortable uh, subjecting a patient to a long course of antibiotics until I can see them in the office. And it really is a fairly characteristic rash. I actually had one this morning, did report to the health department. Um, and uh, classic case, and he was my third patient today, and he had been bitten on April 28th, and came in with a classic EM rash. And so that was, um, and the mom had taken a picture because she had seen him the night before and brought him in. And so that's the most common way that the patients present to me here on the front lines. And so bringing them in, and you do have some time. It's rarely a fleeting rash, so it does last for a period of time. If you're doing the right thing as a parent and sending your kid outside, they're going to get a tick right. And so it, it, it's sometimes not within the power of the school or the park system. And, and I, I try to preach a little bit against the tick phobia. It's, it's going to happen. But if you guys follow the, you know, if you educate yourselves and you're all doing here, and when you find a tick, remove it, they really have to be on for 24 hours. And so if you're doing regular tick checks on your children, you can really, again, the, the message that we're having here is prevention, prevention. I'll read my question. Um, do you give a clinical diagnosis or only go by the blood test? Um, and that's a very broad question, and it depends on the, the presentation of the patient. And so the patient this morning came in with a very classic area of migraines with a very good history. So with everything that we do as physicians, it's a combination of your history, physical exam, sometimes instinct. And I certainly don't use the blood test for most of the patients that I see because the immune system takes two months to respond to any type of assault. So the, so the immune system for the young man I saw this morning, who was bitten on April 28th, and who's coming in today within the three to 30 day range, will still be negative. So the blood test will not confirm or deny my test, and it won't change my management. So in that case, or, or, or with the presentation um, of that classic rash, I, will, I won't even do the blood test. I will treat the, di the diagnosis is made by the rash and the history, and I'll treat that patient accordingly um, and report to the health department. Um, and then if the patient comes in at second stage line with a Bell's palsy or with a, uh, with a unilateral arthritis, which is again the two more common presentations that I see, then I do feel the blood test is helpful to my diagnosis and I may wait to put that patient on antibiotics until I get the confirmatory um, screening test with the Western blot. So a lot of it depends on the presentation. Okay.